Now, in my case, I was surrounded by strong black women my entire life. Strong, powerful black women. And one thing I learned from black women is some man ain't shit. And when you hear this constantly as a man, how much pep does that actually put into your step? It's a vicious circle. It's not just the failure of the man. It's just the appearance of a man failing throughout the course of history. What did James Evans do? He couldn't keep a fucking job. He got mad all the time. He was frustrated, pissed off. He always had high hopes for his family, but he never completely made it. What was George Jefferson trying to do? Trying to make more money on the hustle, even though he owned the business, he still needed more and needed more, but he could never crack that barrier that was there for him. What did Fred Sanford do? He survived with his wit and his will and knowledge of just barely surviving in order to make it. What did uh, Mr. Huxtable do? He was a doctor and went to college. There was a skip in there somewhere. Where in part was where, where where was the part where when they were showing people how to live their life, where they showed people how to go to school? See, I grew up in, in the part where you had to survive or die. There was no gray area. <laughs> there was no in between. There was no time for me to have all these relationships to build an understanding of what life was supposed to be like and grow to be a man. So I was slammed with knowledge and wisdom. I was taught to live and survive. I was not taught to educate myself to better myself. I was taught to use the knowledge of those before me to survive and navigate in this world and adapt to the things that I see around me to keep me alive. Be a chameleon in the society. Ride the struggle. Live the dream. Fight the power. And in the middle of that, you see all this failure and strain and struggle. And them same old words of nigga ain't shit. And then niggas ain't shit but hoes and tricks. The perpetuation of nothingness bestowed my people. A black plague, so to speak. Ignorance is bliss. Ignify me so I can be free. Let me be dumb in my blunts so I can be high. Lay up with me later. That's what I saw. Stick something in your nose, feel better, stay up all night. Kick it. Get your drink on. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. You can make more money at home than at school. See, failure is taught. Achievement is obtained through the knowledge to learn. You, you have to want to learn to achieve. You have to teach somebody to want to learn to achieve. But what is actually taught? You can teach somebody to be stupid. I can beat level six of the game. Ticket. Traffic ticket. Stress. Taught to love stress. Drama. I love some drama. Always in some shit for no reason at all. Nothingness. Could it be my fault? Could it be the will of another? Could it be someone else's collective consciousness bending me to be what I'm not supposed to be?
Could it be the fluoride in the water? Could it be the third grade teacher? Could it be the porno magazines? Cocaine, the alcohol, the weed, the speed? Could it be the need to be wanted? The fear of being wanted? The power of being alone? Anger? Slavery? Could it be the denigration of moral structure? What could it be that makes it my fault? You learn from what you see. And if you see nothingness, then what brought that nothingness upon your vision? Who took them jobs? Who shut that plant down? Who closed that only food store? on that side of town. Who told you that those school books was no good? Give them the old ones. Failures taught. Bread and flows like a volcano down a mountainside spreading wildfires everywhere. Turn. 